What is up guys, it's your favourite Scotsman Ryan here and today I'm bringing you a video that I had discussed with some of you on Twitter and other social networks and that is of course my top 5 Android apps. So I'm also going to do my top 5 iOS apps and I'm hoping to make this a monthly routine. So if you guys like the video then definitely leave a thumbs up as it will let me know to continue with the series. So with that said, let's jump in. So the first game we have is Bird Climb. This game is obviously inspired by many games before it as you simply have to tap to flap up the endless tower. The aim of the game is to bounce off each side of the wall while avoiding the dangerous objects poking out or your bird is toast. As you climb you can collect gems that can be used to carry on when you die or you can buy new birds and unlock new features later in the game. Sounds pretty familiar right? There's also an awesome multiplayer mode which helps set this game apart from others. Overall it's pretty awesome and very addictive. One thing I will say though is definitely play this game on silent as the bird noises are terribly annoying. Next up we have Pocket Tanks. This may be familiar to those of you who played it on the PC many years ago and this retro arcade style game is great fun when you have time to kill. There's a free and deluxe version but I'm pretty happy with the latter and the only difference with the deluxe version is that you get a larger selection of weapons. So basically the aim of the game is to score more points than the other tank and to do this you have to gauge the angle and power and then fire your projectile of choice. With the sweet 2D graphics and simple sounds, this is definitely a little piece of nostalgia worth downloading. If you love to read magazines then you will certainly love the next app. Issue is a free app that gives you access to millions of the world's best selling magazines for absolutely free. Yes, for free. The app is wonderfully crafted and helps you to easily discover the content that you require and when you have used the app for a while it begins to learn what content you like and puts that to the forefront. Scrolling through magazines is very smooth and with most mobile devices being very large these days, reading the print is no trouble at all, however if you are a little blind you can simply double tap the screen to enlarge the print for easier reading. Overall this app is amazing and definitely everyone should have this on their device. Next up we have an app called Walrocks. So basically this is one of the many awesome wallpaper apps that has recently made its way onto the Play Store. You get a large list of categories to choose from and each category obviously hosts some awesome wallpapers. Each wallpaper is stored in the cloud and designed in 2K resolution so they look absolutely stunning when applied. So applying these is very simple, you just click a wallpaper that you like, then tap the big plus in the bottom right corner to reveal the options. I always use quick apply but you can use crop and apply or even save it to your device for later. Overall this app is awesome and for those of us who like to change the look of our devices often then this app is a must have. The selection is also updated regularly so definitely check this out. The last app on my list is one that has been around for some time now but one that I constantly find myself returning to use. That is of course Cover. Cover is an awesome app that transforms your lock screen into a smart and useful screen. Basically this lock screen app learns what apps you will require most based on your location. These apps are presented vertically on the left of your lock screen and you can also swipe these up to reveal more apps that you use regularly. To open an app all you have to do is swipe it to the right and you will be taken straight into the app that you have been chosen. The fun doesn't end there though as a simple swipe down from the top right hand corner will reveal your favourite apps again and you can select the next app to go to straight from there. You probably noticed that depending on the location I had chosen, the wallpaper also changed. Well you can manually set these with the pre-bundled wallpapers or you can even set your own. Overall this app is pretty cool and makes your lock screen a little more fun so if you have the time definitely go check it out. Ok guys so that was my top 5 Android app list of July. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that I delivered some apps that you will probably go ahead and check out. All the links for the apps are down below in the description and if any of you manage to get a high score on any of the apps then definitely send me a tweet or a message and I will try and beat that. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace!